hello guys welcome back to my channel today is a beautiful morning and the day is very bright and beautiful i am so lucky today i am in my sister's house you all know my beautiful and lovely sister sister, sister you're welcome thank you so much my sister thank you for coming to my house today thank you so much today i am very lucky to be here why I say that I'm very lucky today is because my sister is about to stock her new fingerlings. I have never seen where they stock fingerlings before. Remember I told you she has a fish farm and some other farm area that she has shown to you. So come with me as I'm going to show you the little fingerlings that she has just bought. I never knew that these fingerlings used to be this small, very tiny thing, just like tadpoles. I tell you, very little. So come with me as I'm going to show you the little fingerlings that she has just bought. I am going to leave her link down below so that you can check out on our channel. Please, my beloved sisters, support and encourage her by subscribing to her channel. Also like and share the videos if you love it. Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified each time she uploads a new video. So my beloved sister, do you have anything to tell my subscribers? Hello, I'm happy to have my sister around here today. And she's very lucky, like she told you, that she came while I was about to introduce pingalings into the fish pond. I am a farmer, also a fish farmer. So I work with fish, and she's coming today. She's going to show you what and what is done in fish farming, especially fish introduction today. Pingalings. Pingalings. <laughs> Remember the name? Fingerlings. <laughs> These are the fingerlings. After paying for your fingerlings, you have to come back and count them just to be sure that the number you paid for are given to you. The total of this fish is 321. While she paid for 300, 21 is given as an extra in case there is anyone that died. about to introduce fish into the pond as you can see the pond the water is clean the bottom of the pond is laid with sand to form as a cushion for the fish now we are about to introduce the fish into the pond the name of this fish is fingerling like we counted and you saw it you can see the level of the water in the pond it is almost at the bottom level the reason that you don't increase the level of water inside the pond more than what you are having here is because of the size of the fish now we are going to introduce the fingerling into the pond we are going to watch how i am going to do it you cannot empty the fingerling inside the pond else you will destroy it because you are going to stress it this is the water that the fingerlings came from the ashes because the temperature of water that the fish came and the one inside the pond they are not the same if you introduce the fingerling by pouring you are going to expose the fingerlings to stress but rather how you are going to introduce is you place the container that carries the fingerlings at the angle of about 90 degrees in the pond, then gradually allow the water from the pond to enter the container holding the fingerlings. You can see, you do not empty the fish inside the pond. 
because the water inside the container is not in the same temperature with the one we have inside the pond. To empty it directly, you are going to expose the fingerlings to stress and mortality. Rather, you place the container holding the pin at an angle of 90 degrees as you can see, then gradually allow the water inside the pond to enter the container so that they can form the same temperature. At this point, you allow the water to enter, you allow the water to enter gradually, 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 gradually. Then the fish on their own will swim out of the basin, out of the container into the pond. You can see they are swimming in you can see the fingerlings are swimming out from the basin into the pond on their own you only help to adjust the container you adjust the container until they are completely out. Good. Now you have finished talking the fingerlings. You can see them inside the water. They are swimming, they are very happy that you have given them their own habitat. You have given them a new found home and they are very happy because the water is conducive. What makes water conducive for the fish? It is because of the, the level of oxygen present in the water. The water is fresh, it's been introduced right from the surge, which is the borehole. The fish are swimming vertically. If you notice any fish that swim horizontally, it means that the fish is not very strong. But you can see this one, they are all happy, spreading. They need enough space to swim. Now, as you can see, the fish are introduced into the pond. They are swimming. I'm very happy. After the stocking of the fish, however, what you do as a farmer, you move, watch their behavior inside the water. If you see any abnormal behavior, you can bring out the fish and give special attention. But as you can see, they are all happy and they are moving about. At this point, you don't have to feed them. You don't have to feed them. Because they are a little bit stressed. They found themselves in a new environment. They are trying to acclimatize to the new environment. So at this point, you don't give them feed. You allow them to get used to the environment. This is early morning then you will give them feed down in the evening. By then, they are familiar with the environment, they get settled, and they can now think of something to eat. When they are sure, they are secure. But what you do for them, being very tender, they are babies, we treat them like babies. Because we are now going to enter into the afternoon time, we may have some little bit of sun. So what you do is that you use the plantain leaf. This is plantain leaf gotten from my farm. You put on top of the water. The plantain will help as a hiding place for them. Because fish, they don't like exposure 
they like to hide somewhere. So you provide that artificial shell for them inside the pot that will help them to hide. The leaf would also shed them from the sun and also provide a hiding place for them. The leaves, plantain leaf, is not harmful to the, to the fish because plantain is an alkaline in nature. What you cannot introduce into the pond is an acidic source. This is alkaline. It helps even to neutralize if there was any form of acidity in the water and render the water conducive. After three days, I will remove the leaves and put another one. I hope you have learned so much today. Hmm, sister, I enjoy your fish farming today. Thank God. You see the reason I said I thank God that I'm here today? I am indeed grateful because I have learned a lot in my sister's fish farming. Thank you, as my sister has confessed that she herself has learned so much. I want to believe that you too yes. is also learning a lot. Yes. And from what you have seen today, I want to believe it's going to encourage you to think of entering into fish farming. Yes. Thank you so much, sister. I really love this video. And I'm sure you viewers, you are ready to go into fish farming. Yes, because it's a productive farming. Yes, viewers. This is just the beginning of the journey. Yeah. You can see, we are going to feed this fish, take care of this fish, go through the different skill management in fish farming. And I encourage you to stay with me so that you will learn. As you are learning today, you will continue to learn until they get a time we will harvest what you have seen today. Yes, so I'll be so for happy. Our own consumption. Yes. Keep it with us. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for subsequent updates. Yes. So, viewers, I'm really happy and grateful to God. So, I am going to leave the link of this video right below so that you can check out. Please don't forget to support and encourage her by subscribing, like, and also share the video. Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified each time she uploads a new video. Today's post notification shout out goes to. If you want to earn a shout out, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Remember to turn on post notifications so that you will not be left out whenever I upload a new video. Also be the first to comment and then get a shout out in my next video. See you in my next video. Bye! Bye.